Previously on The Truth. Seriously, I'm going to get it. Seriously. I feel like I've been hit by a truck. So currently reporting from the floor. Yeah. Um, I guess I found out what the trigger is for my back problem that started at body power. Flipping seated shoulder press. I mean, the last shoulder video that I did, I, I you know, I had an inkling that it was from that. Um, I wanted to see, so I went heavy on Smith Machine, so not dumbbells this time, Smith Machine. And, um, <clears throat> yeah, same, I started feeling the same twinge as when I was at Body Power. And then, yeah, I just decided I'm going to leave it, and then it seized up again. So, I'm currently lying on the floor because this is the most comfortable position. Um, the thing is, I'm to do with my rhomboids. Um, Rhomboids and traps. I've called my specialist massage therapist. She's available on Monday, so I'm gonna hopefully go and see her. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, she's thinking the same thing, so she's gonna fix me like she always does. But um, yeah, so that's that's the trigger. That is the trigger. So seated shoulder press. So until I get this problem sorted out and loosened up and get whatever muscle it is that's tight loosened then I'm gonna stay away from it. I'm gonna turn down the TV real quick. Ugh. Ow. Uh, just watching um, Rules of Engagement. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's a bit annoying but you know, Shit happens, isn't it? Um, I'm actually meant to be doing my chest and back workout today. And the first thing that um, Mel said to me was, don't do any back work <laughs> and don't do anything where you need to retract your scapula. So I guess no chest and back. And then she was like, oh, but do legs, but no squats, no deadlifts. So, so what you're saying is, um, I, I can't do anything. <sighs> so I'm going to do cardio. <clears throat> steady state cardio, no hit, no sudden movements. It's nice, steady state. So as you probably noticed in this clip, the camera quality is a little bit different. Um, my Canon 700D is gone. And I am going to be getting a new camera um, tomorrow, so um, I'm gonna rest up for the rest of today. Um, try and get some rest. I think the the two a days really took it out of me, and I, I feel a little bit burnt out. So I'm just gonna eat and um, chill. You know, listen to your body. But um, yeah, see y'all later. Good morning, guys and girls. All right, so today is Friday. Friday, the something of something. Don't even know what day it is. Um, but it's Friday, so that means my weighing and checking. So I'm gonna weigh myself now, I'm gonna show you guys what I'm weighing. And then today, I'm straight after this, I'm gonna eat my breakfast and I'm gonna go ahead to get my new camera because I can't actually see myself whilst I'm recording you guys and it's really, really annoying. So, um, and the camera quality on this particular camera isn't, isn't great, so I'm gonna take you guys to go and get my camera. But first of all, the weigh-in. Alright, so first of all, I'm going to take off my, as you Americans say, pants. I'm going to take off my 
jogging bottoms. And my socks. All right, so the camera does weigh a little bit, probably I think like 300 grams or something. So we'll take that into consideration. Come on, work, damn it. Eighty nine point four. All right, so I'm gonna weigh myself again. So that was eighty nine point four. I'm gonna weigh myself without holding the camera, and then I'll, so then we can see, you know, what the actual, the true weight is. So one sec. All right, so eighty nine. Whoop! Eighty nine kilos. Three weeks out. It's game time, baby. It's game time. So excited. So excited. I'm looking to bring a whole different package to what um, did for the Arnolds and to everything else and I think you know I, I want to wow the judges I want to wow the judges I don't want to step on stage the same that's that's never my goal so I'm really happy really happy 89 kilos um, the few weeks left the the fat burning element of this prep where it accelerates is yet to start so watch this space watch this space cause it's going down all right i'm gonna i'm gonna shower get changed eat and then head to um pc world what is it curries i think it's curries they got it head to curries and go and get the new camera so i will see you probably in the car um yeah see you in a bit all right, so just got out the shower, and it seems like dieting brain and pregnancy brain are very, very similar, if not the same. Let me explain what pregnancy brain is. And for all the ladies who have had children and are watching this video, you might understand. Or the guys who have wives, girlfriends who have had children, you might understand. Pregnancy brain is where you do something that you're not meant to have done um, or you'll repeat something that you've already done. I've literally brushed my teeth three times in the space of two hours because I keep forgetting that. What the frick? I'm going crazy. I'm going literally going crazy. So got up, um, got up, brushed my teeth. Uh, wash my face quickly. Don't like to go to the gym with stinky breath. Um, got my gym stuff on. Had my BCAAs. Had my um, grenade fat burners. And then brushed my teeth again. And then halfway through brushing my teeth, I was like, "Oh, I've I've already I've already done this. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I've already done this. But finished the job anyway. You know who doesn't like clean teeth? Then just had a shower and brushed my teeth again." Three times, three fl flipping times. Yeah, I thought I'd just share that with you. Dieting brain, three weeks out, not a joke. Let's see how many more times I brush my teeth today. See how many times I forget I've already brushed my teeth. Three times, all right. I'm gonna get changed and I'll see you in a bit. All right, so now I'm in a little bit of a rush because I now need to go and meet um, one of my friends, good friend of mine, he runs like a t-shirt printing company. Um, I'll put his link to the description in the, in the, um, the links to his description. The flip's wrong with me. I'll put the link to his website in the description box. <laughs> if you guys are in London and you need, um, he does like a lot of corporate stuff, but um, I really want to get the bitch on the truth. Uh, stringers, so I'm, I'm like looking at materials and looking at how it looks on the on the stringer and see whether I need to change the design and stuff. So this is just like a sample that I'm going to pick up. So I need to meet him in ten minutes. So I'm literally wolfing down my breakfast. I made these little burger things. They look dry as hell because I flipping nuked it in the microwave. I forgot about it. But um, made these out of the muscle food um, lean mint. So. Um, yeah, we're gonna eat that quick. I might put in a Tupperware box because I need to be there in like eight minutes and I don't have time. So I will see you guys on the way um, to 
probably after I've seen him and I'm gonna go get the camera, so catch you in a bit. Just before I leave, it is in a Tupperware box now. So I'm gonna eat in a car. The machine swag is tight today. Yeah, all red and white matching. Yep. That feels good. Alright, see you in a bit. Alright, so I'm um, I'm meeting my friend at um the Easy Gym car park. He's um he's about to train so you know just rather than wait until later I'll just while I meet him here. But um <laughs> isn't it funny how I'm not sure what the quality is like because I can't actually see myself. Um so apologies if it's terrible. But um is this a universal thing? But like, you know when people are parking, like reverse parking. A guy just came in and he was like, um, driving this X5, music was blaring, the bass was deep. And then as soon as it came to parking, then the music went down. Does anyone else do that? It's, it's almost like turning down the volume will make your parking better. <laughs> it's just, I find it funny that like everyone I know does it. I just want to see if it's a, a universal thing or if it's just, you know, a few weird people in the world. Um, yeah, I think he's... I think he just messaged me, actually. Yeah, he's going to be here in a second, so... <sighs> I'll see you guys in a little bit. The devil is a lie! The devil is a lie! Yeah, Stringer. Alright. Now... Now off to get my new camera so I can see myself when I record. See you at the style. Alright, so I'm here at Curry's. Gonna go and pick up my camera. So yeah, let's go. Alright, so basically this is the camera that I'm going to be getting. Canon power shot. This will make my vlogging a lot easier. It's got the flip out screen. Yeah, it's nice. Feel the machine. Ooh, look at, look at the machine. Look at the machine logo. Oh, that, that's sexy right there, ain't it? Alright, a few of the machine guys have actually got this camera as well. I know uh, Rob Lips has got it. Um, Matt does fitness just got it and who else has got it? Um, John, a beast of beast. Um, so yeah, Canon crew right here. But yeah, that's that's the camera I'm gonna be getting. Make my vlogging a lot easier as opposed to holding the um, 700D. I'll show you the 700D here. I'm trying to vlog with this is what I have been doing. Tough as hell. Because it's just so so big. But within the team we still got a 700 d a 5D and a drone. So yeah, using if I just get this for my vlogging then I'll be that'll be cool. So I'm, I'm quite happy with that. So yeah, time to pay for it. Let's go. Alright, so quick update. They don't have the thing in stock. What kind of place advertises something and they don't have any in stock in the whole company? He doesn't even know when there's going to be a delivery. I don't get these places. I really don't understand these places. So, heading to Bromley um, to a shop called Jessup's. I'm not sure if you guys have heard of it, but they actually they closed down a lot of their stores to avoid going into administration or some shit. So, um, you know, and the closest one is Bromley. So I'm heading to Bromley now. I've already reserved it. I've already um, paid for it. So I just need to go and pick it up. So hopefully there's no hiccups there because I can't keep using this camera because I can't see myself. Can't see myself. Oh, anyway, shit happens. Deal with it. See you at Jessup's. Confirmation text just came through. My item is ready for pickup. So, as soon as I get there, it'll be there, ready and waiting. So, yeah, I guess PC World and Curry's missed out for not having any stock, but that's flipping retarded. So, yeah, I'll, this time I'll see you when <laughs> I get to Jessup's. I keep like thinking of shit to say. 
So, um, yeah, see you then. Bye. Alright, so now I just ups again. <laughs> but I've got more stuff to say. I don't want to talk. I love you guys. I love you guys for like sticking through my rants and stuff. But on the way to there, it's like it's like a 30 minute drive. So I couldn't just like sit here in silence. But yeah, on the way to Bromley. And this is the route that I used to take. Because some of you might know. Let me just close these windows. Some of you might know that I used to work in recruitment. I was a recruitment consultant uh, for a firm in Bromley. And um, this is the route that I used to take every day for like a year. And it's just, it's just struck up loads of memories. There was a McDonald's that we just passed. And this was um, the days of my dirty bulk before I did my first competition. I wanted to bulk up. So that McDonald's that we just passed there, like literally every day. My dirty bulk was about 5,000 calories of anything. McDonald's, KFC, Subway. And I think that's where I kind of like really messed up like my metabolism, my insulin sensitivity and stuff like that. Um, Cause I used to just stay lean, like stupidly lean all the time. Um, I was never really one to gain weight. I was always a skinny kid. And then after that dirty bulk, <laughs> yeah, it's been a struggle. And then meeting Naisha as well, who's flipping has she has abs while she's pregnant. If she tenses her, if she tenses her abs for a split second, you can see there's a four pack at the top of the bump. I'm like, what the hell? Her obliques are still showing. So having a a wife like that, you know, I have to keep my game in check. So I had to make sure that my ins I had to make sure that I readjusted my metabolism and insulin sensitivity. But anyway, I'm rambling again. But yeah, this route brings back memories. A lot of memories, you know, from having a 500 pound Mitsubishi FTO to then making my first deal as a recruitment consultant and then buying a BMW 3 Series. Yeah, man, it's, it's crazy, it's crazy, but yeah, I, I won't say I, I, I miss it. I, I enjoy what I'm doing now, but it's like it's good to reminisce about the other good times that you've had. So, um, yeah, this time, this time, I promise, I promise, it will be at Jessup's next time I see you. Sorry. Addison, they subtract me, I'd never be an equal. Last please, Drizzy is the nigga in the lead now. Weezy told me just write every single thing in E down. Then he got it for me, and I'm happy as can be now. About to start balling like I'm coming off a rebound. Yeah, and I should have the most bragging. Alright, so I'm here at Jessup's. Way for someone to be available and they should have my camera so they also called to make sure I was coming as well so which is good so once I've got the camera I'll see you all right so I've got my new camera which is here I've got a free case as well we're 30 bucks quite happy about but passing the Apple store I thought I might as well pop in and find out um, you know why I'll explain later, but managed to crack the screen. And I'll explain in a second. After I go after I see these guys, I'll explain how it happened. It's a joke. Okay, so now I'm back home. And um yeah, basically, you know those um Robinson's zero calorie squirty things? In a little bottle like that. That's what fell on my iPhone and broke it. Tough and glass my ass. Anywho, the Canon Power Shot G7X, and it's good that I went to um, flipping Jessup's in Bromley instead because I got a free case worth thirty pounds. Happy days. Alright, so I'm going to unbox this and then hopefully the next clip will be using this camera so you can see um, better quality footage. So, see you in a sec. Focus. Alright, so now reporting from the Canon PowerShot G7X. And I can see myself. Alright, we're going to go to the gym now and it is hamstrings. I'm going to save the chest and back workout till tomorrow because I'm actually feeling a bit better. We're doing a lot of work with the tennis ball and the foam roller, um, trying to release the area, but man, this, I need to trim this down. 
it really needs to be trimmed down. But um, yeah, so we're gonna head to the gym now. So highlights coming your way now. So we are walking into Easy Gym. Naisha sporting her intensity tracksuit. This really needs to be trimmed. I need a haircut. Yeah. Naisha doesn't like beards at all. <laughs> so I'm quite lucky right now. <laughs> I've literally grown out this much. <laughs> Alright, hands <laughs> time. Alright guys, so I thought I'd finish off this video with some commentary. Um, this was my third hamstring session for this week. So, um, done a lot of power stuff during the week and this one was just focusing on a lot of time under tension. Um, really just focusing on trying to isolate just the hamstring. So, a lot of this stuff was like four seconds um, negative, uh, four second contraction two second hold, um, peak contraction holds and that kind of stuff. So it was, it was interesting and it was a burner. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm really happy with the new camera as well. New camera is really good, a lot easier to vlog now. It's, it's made vlogging more fun. I think the Canon, sometimes it was like holding a brick. So it's just like, oh man. And then you feel awkward in like restaurants and stuff, pulling out this massive, camera so yeah definitely if you're looking to start youtube and start vlogging then i'd recommend the canon power shot g7x now this last exercise was um calf raises this was horrible so it's rest pause to 100 reps so 100 reps three sets so it's like you just do as many as you can rest for 15 10 to 15 seconds Carry on until you hit 100 reps. If I tell you my calves were on fire, I, it would be the biggest understatement of the year. It was ridiculous. The pump was insane. I mean, I'm doing this commentary a couple days on and my calves are still on fire. I can hardly walk properly. So if you're looking for that insane pump, try this out, try this out. Um, but yeah, you can see by the grimaces in my face, it, it, it wasn't a joke. And, you know, if you say you're going to do something, commit to it and get it done. So I've got all three sets done for 100 reps, so there's 300 reps in total. But that's it, guys. This is probably the longest video that I've done for you guys. Let me know if you like this type of thing. Um, I mean, over 20 minutes now, but you know, I, I like taking you on my my day-to-day -day activities but until next time don't forget to subscribe like comment share and i will see you again peace